Hello and welcome to Azure in 5 Minutes. Today we are covering Azure Active Directory application integration. My name is Michael Copps. I'm a partner technology strategist with the USS and BND Group. So let's talk about Azure Active Directory and specifically the application integration capabilities. So first, Azure Active Directory is our cloud-based user management solution. It's part of the Azure platform. It integrates closely with the familiar on-premises Active Directory, which manages user accounts and computer accounts and, and does uh, various other things. So what's great about the Microsoft platform is we have synchronization tools that will synchronize on-premises Active Directory with Azure Active Directory. It'll synchronize the user accounts and it will synchronize passwords. So why should we be interested in using Azure Active Directory? Well, for one, Azure Active Directory is the identity management solution for Office 365. It's also uh, what CRM Online uses for identity. Uh, and more importantly, there are application integrations in Azure Active Directory that will manage our credentials, manage authentication to over 2,400 different software as a service solutions out there. And that's what we're going to showcase today. So let's first start by opening up a browser and showing the typical user experience uh, into the application portal. So we'll simply type in myapps.microsoft.com and we're taken to our Azure Active Directory login page. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my credentials. And we'll hit sign in. And this is taking us into our user application portal. And here you'll see all of my existing integrations published in these easy to use tiles. I have uh, SharePoint Online, Dynamic CRM, Exchange Online, Facebook, uh, OneDrive, and QuickBooks. And uh, a little later on, we will add another application integration to show you the process for doing that. Uh, note that this displays in this easy to uh, use format on my desktop, but it also uh, renders nicely on a tablet device and on your phone. So it's really a cross device solution for your users to access the applications that are important to them. So let's go back to our Azure portal and add an Active Directory application integration. So we'll click on the Contoso Active Directory, which is the Active Directory um, for my Office 365 account. I added it to be managed in my Azure portal. So here you'll see all my different um, Azure Active Directory administrative options, users, groups, applications, dom domains, directory integration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on applications and we'll go ahead and uh, search on the applications that my company uses. And we'll get rid of Twitter here. And I'll show you all the existing applications that we have. Box, Concur. You saw a few of these that I assigned to my user that showed up in my portal. So let's go ahead and add uh, a Twitter integration. And the example we're using today is uh, maybe the uh, person in my organization that manages the corporate Twitter account is out on vacation. And I need to assign uh, Twitter access to a temporary employee that's going to do some uh, tweets throughout the week and then I'm going to revoke access at the end of the week. The last thing I want to do is give that user the username and password of the Twitter account uh, because I would then have to go and change it because I'm revoking access. Instead, I will just assign that uh, user a Twitter application integration and manage credentials for them. So I don't have the Twitter integration, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add at the bottom, add an application from the gallery, and we'll go ahead and search for Twitter. Before I do that, you'll see all of the common application integrations from all the known software as a service providers out there. Box, Concur, GoToMeeting, Dropbox, Google Apps even, Salesforce.com, they're all there. Uh, over 2,400, as you can see uh, right here on the left. So let's go ahead and search for Twitter. And we'll click on Twitter and choose to add this application integration into our portal. We're going to go ahead and wait for that to add and click on assign users, the configure single sign on. Um, you would only change this setting if you were 
doing ADFS or Federation services. Since we're not doing that, we're just using Azure Active Directory for authentication. We will leave that. We're going to go ahead and click on Assign Users. And I am going to assign uh, Twitter access to uh, one of my users, Karen Berg. And we'll go ahead and find Karen here. Click on her and we're going to hit Assign. And here you'll see, uh, I could just hit the checkbox and that will give Karen that box, uh, the Twitter box in the application portal. If I don't assign credentials, she'll be prompted for credentials, but I wanna manage the Twitter login. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the box and say, I'm gonna manage the credentials on behalf of this user. So I went ahead and entered my Twitter credentials. I'm gonna click save. And now it's loading and you'll see that Karen uh, now has access, if I scroll down, uh, or, or now has the uh, Twitter assigned to her account, the Twitter access assigned to her account. So let's go back into our portal, and we'll go ahead and just refresh the page. And let's give it a second to refresh, and you'll see that I'll get a notification that uh, a new app has been updated. So we'll click on that link. And there we have the Twitter app. So uh, common user experience, Karen's gonna log in to her application portal every day to get access to what she needs. Uh, she's gonna log in um, the next time and see, oh, now I have access to Twitter. Karen will click on Twitter, never be prompted to enter credentials. It's just gonna quickly uh, pass the credentials on. And now I am in the uh, Twitter account. I could go ahead and uh, make a post and Karen is now tweeting for the company and never having known those credentials. So as you can see, the application integration for Azure Active Directory is, uh, is great for users um, because they don't have to remember multiple username passwords. We can just manage that all for them. And it's great for IT because IT can centrally manage user accounts in the Azure Active Directory administrative console. If a user leaves the company, they just disable one account and access to all of their applications is disabled as well. Thank you for watching today, and remember, the, all of the Azure in 5 Minutes videos are posted on azure.msts2.com.